meet chocolatier and owner of Chef Brulee Chocolates, Natalia Shapira. Natalia, along with her husband, Arthur, are owners of Chef Brulee Chocolates. Neighborhood TV stopped in to take a behind-the-scenes look at the beautiful shop and learn all about their handcrafted artisan chocolates. I've been in Atlanta for probably 30 years now. Came from former USSR, which is Ukraine, Kyiv, and we started doing chocolates at home. And I think our friends pushed us out and asked us if we, not even ask us, they pushed us to open um, a chocolate shop for other people to enjoy, not only um, friends and family. We opened in 2013. It was kind of difficult because uh, people were skeptical first and the price was a little bit bigger than your regular chocolates but it painted it's handmade and it's fresh and we don't have a lot of preservatives in the chocolates. Uh, we use a lot of organic ingredients, organic chocolates, so we wanted to bring it to the public but um, now I think we have a huge and I call my customers, not customers, I call my family because they are repeat customers and they love us and uh, it makes us happy to uh, be the part of their happiness when they come here. It's lots of studying, lots of uh, schools, uh, different teachers um, and then different traveling and tasting um, different chocolates, different desserts. That's where you get your flavors out to, for people to enjoy. We love to experiment and um, we have chocolates with uh, curry, we have chilies, we have chocolates that we use cardamoms, so Eastern infusions, you name it. We can replicate like cheesecakes, um, fruity pistachios we can use, we make them different fruits, different um, nut fillings. We also do um, bars, for example, like that. It's the beautiful, beautiful bars. We make shoes, we're coming for Mother's Day right now, so we have a lot of high heel shoes. Also the graduation season is here as well, so we make uh, something for the graduates uh, to enjoy with the chocolates as well. So the chocolate is, um, it's like your wine, it's like your uh, coffee, different flavors. Uh, different um, tastes uh, of the maybe fruits, prunes, uh, dried fruits, even coffees, even uh, tobaccos. It depends where the chocolate goes, the same goes with wine. Whatever you have in the soil, the chocolate will absorb and give you the flavors. So I think the old chocolates are beautiful. We use Valrona, we use chocolates from Switzerland, we use Belgium chocolate. Um, they all have different flavors because they all come from different regions. And if we're creating flavors, so we try to create the, we take the flavor of the chocolate and combine it with other flavors to bring you more taste to your taste buds so you can feel all the beauty of the chocolate inside the fillings. We do wine pairings with the customer. They will come and tell me, Natalia, what do you think for this kind of wine? And they will bring the wine in the store and we'll have after hours a glass of wine and try to pair the chocolates with the wine. So we do have lots of wineries that come and um, buy our chocolates to pair at their wineries. So this is a chocolate machine. It tempers chocolate for us. It keeps it in the right temperature for us to work. It has to be tempered in order to work, in order for the chocolate to come out shiny and beautiful. If you don't do this, uh, it will not come out from your molds. We decided to use for Mother's Day peonies and it's the silicone, food grade silicone. And uh, we cast them in white chocolate or dark or any other chocolates. And then we tip them out and we create in a shell so we can fill with the different fillings. And then when they're ready, we unmold them. Mm -hmm. 
the recipes that we use do not contain a lot of sugar and a lot of preservatives. So the shelf life of the chocolate is very limited. You have from four weeks to six weeks to eight weeks depends on the flavor. So I love fruity chocolates. Fruity chocolates don't stay long on the shelf life. So you have to make them in small portions so that people can enjoy them fresh. So the process, we have a warmer and we keep our um, chocolates, cocoa butter here, so they will be warm because the cocoa butter is hard. So that keeps it's warm and we put the color in here and then we spray. What I love about Roswell is it's the big community, but they love to help small businesses. And I think every holidays we know the husbands, we know the wives, they will come and um, get the gifts for their spouses, the children. Very warming to see all the attention and I think love. <laughs>